<laughs> According to IdeaFinder.com, duct tape was a developed about 1942 by a division of the Johnson & Johnson Company. It was created for the military during World War II. Its original use was as a waterproof seal for ammunition boxes. The soldiers quickly discovered there were many other uses for the tape. They used it to repair their guns, jeeps, and aircrafts. Then when the war was over, duct tape became a big part of the booming housing industry. They used it to seal the heat and air conditioning ducts being put in the new houses. The color of the tape was changed from the Army's green to today's silver color, so the tape would match the color of the air ducts. In the 1970s, Manco Inc. was the first company to shrink wrap their tape, which made displaying it easier since it's sticky. And soon after, there was a large variety of colors and grades available to consumers. Duct tape is composed of three layers. Bottom layer is a rubber-based adhesive. The middle layer is a fabric mesh. The top layer is a resilient plastic. They're all pressed together. There's different grades of duct tape. The commercial grades range around a 40 pound rip strength. Military grades about the same. There are also special grades. There's nuclear tape, which is used in nuclear reactors. Another special grade is 200 mile an hour tape, which is designed specifically for race cars. There's a near rainbow of colors of duct tape available to consumers. There's your red, blue, white, black, yellows. There's also, those are the plain colors. There are also, there are extreme colors, which are a fluorescent -y neon version of the plain colors. Manco Inc. is the lead in the U.S. market for producing duct tape. The name of the product is Duct, D-U-C-T, but people still call it Duck, D-U-C-K. Duct tape was originally called duct tape because it was waterproof like the bird's feathers. But when it became part of the housing industry, they changed it to duct because it was used on air ducts. Well, Manco Inc., they came up with the idea because people were still using duck as slang and because duct, when misenunciated, sounds like duck. So they trademarked the name duck and used it ever since. So the real name is duct, D-U-C-T. The corporate name is duck, D-U-C-K. There's at least eight companies in the United States and Canada that produce duct tape. These companies are currently working on cheaper, more environmentally friendly adhesives for the tape. They're also dealing with problems that adhesives have at extreme temperatures. And they're also working on the flexibility of the tape when it's stuck to something. There's an insane number of uses for duct tape. <laughs> for any job you've done, you could have thought of some way to use duct tape. Also, there are many many books on the subject of duct tape. Some talk about practical uses for the tape and its history. Others go for a more humorous approach. They discuss odd everyday uses for the tape and some even tell you how to make your own duct tape fashions. I have used lots of duct tape for practical repairs and chores. I've even skimmed the duct tape fashion world. Myself and anyone else that has or ever will use duct tape would agree that duct tape has become the most practical tool in the household. And now you know the silly, practical, versatile substance known only as duct tape.